everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review for the Avengers Issue 5 2023. Uh, and this is a nice cover, but this pretty much is just what was going on from the previous issue with Wanda. We only get a small little check-in with her at the end. This bulk mainly deals with uh, Meridian, uh, Meridian Diadem and Lord Anwi and the Impossible City. So let's kind of get into it. So we pretty much see that uh, the bulk of the issue details with Sam and T'Challa pretty much getting some more information from the Impossible City. Saying, I'm sorry, but we're all gonna die here. And Sam's like, wait, you're the city, and my masters are on your planet, your friends are fighting them. Uh, they're very brave, your friends, as are you. But my masters are the Ashen Combine, and killing cities is what they live for. They're very good at it. As we then shift to Helsinki with Vision taking out the troops that Meridian Diadem has. Pretty much saying that your creatures are no match for me. Match or not, Vision, they will die for me if I wish it. Can you imagine such devotion? Yes, I see in it, uh, see in it what I was created to be, a slave. But I refuse that role that I was designed for, just as I refuse to allow you to make the people of this city into more of your slaves. It's like, yes, Vision. And I do like how the art style kind of showcases them off, just like throwing those guys away like that. And Meridian Diadem is just nutty looking too. If I incarcerated every living person in this city, there would be only a fraction of the forces I have at my command. And where exactly are your armies, Meridian Diadem? As, I, uh, as it would appear that the warriors you currently have on hand are in, the, in a dramatically horizontal configuration, meaning they're all on the ground and he beat their asses. It's like, damn, I love how uh, they're writing vision like this. It's like, okay, I haven't really read much of him, but I'm really liking how they're like laying him out here. Uh, it's just like, that is just an interesting way to be like, they're all on the ground. They're all knocked out. Uh, you do not understand what I am, do you? Uh, they are within me. I am their mother. Let me show you. And then this is like a crazy fucking thing. Like, that's nuts for her to open up like that and just like, Wah. it's like, fuck, man, what the shit? So, yes, very good art for me. Then we pretty much shift over to the Impossible City. <laughs> giving kind of more information on the various members of the Ashen Combine. Um, that Meridian Diadem has an untold number of Janissaries, which are kind of elite troopers within the Tesseract space of her body. So that's cool that we now understand, okay, she's got a Tesseract folded kind of space thing going on in her, and that's how she's got her troopers. Idle Alabaster's Field of Warship Compulsion will spread geometrically as she projects it, giving us kind of an information of how her power... I like that they give how the powers work, but it doesn't feel... Stupid. Like, it's giving information to Sam and T'Challa, and even kind of a little bit more kind of context for us as the audience, even as we're seeing the fights going on. The City Smith's metrokinesis renders him almost untouchable. Yeah. And uh, to say nothing of the psychic carnage of the dead's aura or the living entropy that is Lord Ennui, you see the Ashen Combine are unstoppable, as we get little bits and snippets of, like, the Impossible City uh, showing uh, what's kind of going on. And then T'Challa's like, are you unstoppable? Because the weapons I planted across your uh, your structure will shatter you when I activate their detonators. And then the city's like, I'm afraid they won't. Please don't feel bad. You couldn't have known the secrets of my construction. Your weapons would damage me for sure, but I would remain at least, uh, at the very least, 72% operational. I don't understand. When we can't kill you and you don't seem inclined to kill us, but you said you were, uh, we, were, uh, we were all going to die. Sam asking him that. Ah, yes, that is the unfortunate thing you see, as we shift to Manila and see uh, Captain Marvel fighting Lord Anwi. However, it's a different kind of fight that uh, Carol has to kind of work out for, because this isn't something that you can straight on kind of punch. You have to deal with it in a different kind of manner. As Lord Anwi's like, you aren't quite as boring as the rest of the creatures on this world, Captain Marvel. I will give you that. Are you going to fight or what? Fight. I don't fight. Uh, no, I don't believe in fighting. I prefer to let things take their course. As we see that she tries to, like, punch at him, but she then kind of just falls down. It's like, what the hell is kind of going on here? Everything 
in every universe eventually winds down, ticks away. Entropy is the only truth. Energy dissipates, flesh withers, motion still uh, slows into stillness. I merely accelerate the process, so he's got an entropy kind of field that accelerates that kind of stuff, because Carol pretty much tries to toss a car in his ass, and the field just kind of protects him. It's like, ah, shit, and I really like the art style. Shifting, shifting to show it as it kind of just stops it like that. It's really kind of a cool way for this energy kind of shield to kind of stop it. Saying that he's a void, Captain Marvel. My entropic field draws into it everything from the life energy of these people to the stored uh, energy of mo uh, molecular bonds. That's a big kind of thing. Like, uh, mm, that's kind of a hard thing. And in all my years at this, I've never been satiated. It's like, huh, interesting. We then go back to T'Challa and Sam, and the city's like, I'm an unwilling participant in my master's atrocities. I was built for better. My creators were heroes. I had another name once. It's like, ooh, I kind of want to learn that. The Ashen Combine have uh, made me an accessory, a weapon to be wielded. The city smith and Meridian Diadem altered me to their liking. So those are the two main ones that have uh, changed the impossible city like this. Uh, the city smith superstructure runs through me like a parasitic nervous system as we see T'Challa kind of looking at it. Meridian Diadem's scourging of my memory core, uh, scourging of my memory core has left me a shadow of my poten uh, of my potential, a craven sir. I cannot act directly against my masters. My own traitor's brain prevents me from it, no matter how much my conscience, such as it is, might cry out for it. That's horrible. That's, that's horrible, man, being forced to do that kind of stuff like that. It really makes me feel for the city. For make no mistake, the Ashen Combine left me a conscience as the cruelty amused them. That's, that's uh, completely disgusting cruelty right there to be like, you have the ability to change this thing, and then you leave that one thing to keep it in perpetual pain like this. Captain America, Black Panther, please understand, I'm a slave to monsters. Uh, Kimio beads uh, lock into the invasive superstructure. Had I eyes, the tears I would shed would fill oceans. Had I hands, I would tear at the face I do not have until all that was left was bone. So I pose to you a question. What ethical choice remains when one is responsible for the death of millions even by coercion? That's, that's heavy shit there, man. And I hand it to him to make to put this kind of position to make me feel for the impossible city even though we're just five issues in, and this is just like a new character. It's like, holy shit. Now, hold on, City. It sounds like we're on the same side here. You want to stop the Combine, same as we do. Of course I do, but I cannot. They have made me into a thing that cannot. And I like that Sam's like, listen, let's try and help each other. And it's shouting at them like, I cannot. You just feel for it. We get back to Meridian Diadem going with battalions 764 through 767. Prepare for Outworld Sortie. Target Synthetic Biped. Capabilities Variable Density, Extreme Strength Class, Energy Protection. Kill, kill, kill for Mother. As we see inside of her Tesseract thing, and then them pouring out to fight. Kill for Mother. It's like, holy shit. And they're kind of interesting looking. It's like, alrighty then. So these must be her kind of shock troopers. Now, granted, I could definitely understand being like, yeah, they kind of look samey for uh, certain people's tastes, and I kind of understand that, but when you're trying to do, like, a flood of kind of cannon fodder and everything kind of going on, uh, they at least have an interesting kind of uh, look and kind of feel to them. Kind of like the putty men from, like, Power Rangers. Do you see, Vision? Do you see how they love me? How they have been made to love me? Made to love order. Made to love control. Organic life is chaos. They require a strong hand. Correction. It's like, if they are made to love it, if they are forced to, it is not love. Who programmed you, Meridian Diadem? Who created such a monster? As he's pretty much flying now, uh, altering his density, and then something grabs him. It's like, what the fuck is this? What? How? Ah! As Vision pretty much gets yanked back. And we see that they're coming from Meridian Diadem's Tesseract space. Ugh. I have taken my children from hundreds of worlds, Vision, and also my armory. Uh, density manipulation is nothing new. Now, let us see what we can do with your programming, Vision. Let us see what kind of monster we can make of you. It's like, no! Fuck that shit! No! That's worst case scenario for Vision. No. We then get to uh, Quezon City. I think, or Quezon. 
as we see that Captain Marvel is flying everybody out to try and save them. Someone look after them. I'll be back with more. Captain Marvel to Avengers. I need some reinforcements in Manila. Hello? There's a certain beauty in it. I chose this city because of the people. So many people. And here you are, trying to evacuate them one by one. You really are the most interesting creature I've come across in some time. As we see that she's going back and forth trying to save them. And Lord Anwee's just sitting waiting. I can't hurt you. I can't blast you. Can't punch you. Can't throw things at you. So what do you want, Lord Anwee? Do you know what? No one's ever asked me that before. And the interesting thing is, I love that even though his face is covered, we see him kind of in a perplexed thing of like, nobody's asked me that. I am numb, Captain Marvel. Nothing affects me. Everything bores me. The only thing that comes close to mattering to me is stilling the hearts of those who can feel, turning cities into silent monuments. I want to feel something, Captain Marvel. It's like, I can understand that, but... Just because you can't feel anything doesn't mean you should force others to not feel anything either. I know that his main objective is to feel something, so we'll have to see how that kind of works out and how they can, like, defeat him on that kind of front. And then we see that we keep this going, which is as possible as you evacuating every resident of this city in time to save them. To wit, not at all. So busy yourself as you please. We both know that your task is ultimately futile. All you are doing is making yourself the witness to my atrocities. But I enjoy the company as much as I enjoy anything. It's like, oh, interesting. This, this is a hard thing to fight against. Like, this, this is hard. We get back to the impossible city. So, to repeat, what ethical choice remains when one is responsible for the deaths of millions, even by coercion? The answer, limiting further harm. I am going to kill myself for the impossible city. It's like, damn, I, I get going to that logic. It's, it's... And seeing the shocked look on Sam's face, it's like, yeah, it's, that's heavy shit to deal with. And Sam's like, City, wait, I cannot act directly against them, but I can destroy myself. The continued presence of the Ashen Combine will be catastrophic for your planet, I'm sorry to say. But if it is any consolation, your world will be the last to fall to them. And then T'Challa's like, I've heard enough. You have been badly hurt, City, and you have been made party to monstrousness. But I will tell you the same thing the Avengers are telling your masters. No. And I kind of love that it's T'Challa kind of going on that and leading it with what's going on as both him and Sam say no. And the city's like, no. And Sam then takes up with it. We're the Avengers. That means a lot of things to a lot of people. When it comes down to, uh, but it comes down to this. Whenever innocent lives would be lost, we say not today. We say not ever. We say no. We don't give up. We don't surrender. We all of us look death in the eye and tell her, and I just love that building it up towards the last thing and really getting to the heart of the Avengers and what they try to do and trying to change the Impossible City's kind of course of action. Nay. No. 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 Hell no. It's like, yeah! That! That's awesome. Seeing Thor, Vision, Wanda, Tony, and Carol saying no. And Carol going, hell no. And then we get an Avengers... Uh, fan, fan letters page, which is nice. So, I liked this one a lot because it got us going on with Meridian Diadem, which we haven't gotten a lot of movement on except for the introduction, and Lord Ennui with Captain Marvel. So, I did like that we got that and a lot of stuff on the Impossible City and a little bit more context of what has gone on with the Impossible City to then get to its current course of action of attempting to kill itself to stop it from being used by coercion with the Ashen Combine, but I do love that Sam and T'Challa were the ones to be like, no, we're going to help you, okay? It, it's going to be hard, and I and you, you, you've got a lot of shit in you that's making you follow these horrendous orders, but no. So I really liked this because these are hard kind of things to deal with. Uh, what the position that the impossible city's in and even though they don't have a plan yet then being like no we're gonna we're gonna help you same with the other ones dealing with their various opponents in the ashen combine tony uh thor wanda vision carol and i liked seeing uh that vision's got some kind of trouble with meridian diadem but uh, hopefully he's able to kind of deal with that lord on is going to be the interesting one of how uh carol is going to have to deal with him because he is the hardest probably one out of all of them to deal with because you cannot act directly on him in the typical kind of way that you do. You have to make him feel something. How do you do that? 
what would potentially be his your way of kind of getting him out of that. Carol's is also going to be an interesting one to deal with because of the dead and what they could potentially have to do with that one with all the ghosts and everything. It's like, all right. So there's a lot of... I'm really digging this. This really gave us some nice information. I like that even though... Like, there was a nice balance. There was some action, mainly with Vision and Carol, but we got a lot of information as well that didn't feel info-dumpy. It felt organic, and that's a hard thing to accomplish when you're providing new information. Uh, because if you're not careful, if you're like, I'm plot-dumping this motherfucker, that does not happen here. So I really enjoyed this issue and can't wait to see where this goes off next and how the Avengers are going to be able to handle the Ashen Combine and if they are able to help the Impossible City out and become more of what it used to be, potentially. So, those are my opinions on the issue. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, also like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.